good morning class one hope class one you all are fine okay now see children your unit test is coming so we have completed up to chapter four okay so your syllabus for the unit test will be chapter one chapter two and chapter three okay children i will be giving in the writing also so your syllabus for unit test will be chapter one chapter two chapter three in computer okay so computer syllabus will be of chapter one chapter two and chapter three okay you will read everything okay in your book there is a question answers are there okay matching is there after that in your book okay whatever is there yes and no is there in chapter one okay that all you will be learning okay so whatever is there in your book whatever i have given you to write in your book and copy those everything you will be learning as a syllabus for your unit test and everyone must give your unit test sincerely okay children everyone must give the test okay now look here so chapter one chapter two and chapter three we have done the revisions right okay so today we are going to do chapter four revisions okay so chapter four we are going to do revision the name of the chapter is using computer okay do your yeah, do's and do not that means something which you do and which you will not do okay so you see we have already completed this chapter this is the revision okay now see children so for test you will be learning chapter one and two three so chapter one two and three this four no need to learn this is no need okay this is not your syllabus so chapter one chapter two and chapter three okay you will be learning in computer as your syllabus for your unit test you will be learning everything yes no matching whatever is there and question answers okay so this is the syllabus of your computer subject computer okay children so let's begin the revision of chapter 4 so in chapter 4 does and does not now you see when we buy anything we must take care okay same thing at your home you have music system you have televisions okay you have books mostly your books everything notebook your books you what you're doing you are taking care of it you're putting a cover you're not making it dirty you don't tear it you keep it very properly the same way okay when we buy a computer or in school or at home we must take care of a computer okay we have to take it very we have to take it very properly the care of a computer or laptop in your home or in school wherever so something some few good manners and few bad manners we have to see so something we should do in a computer lab something we should not do in a computer lab okay so let's go with number one so in number one point okay form a queue to enter the computer lab walk in quiet that means from the classroom when you will go to the computer lab at that time you will go in a line q means in a line one by one no one will touch one another okay everyone will move by keeping the hands down slowly without talking so you will enter you will walk from your classroom to the computer lab without talking you will not push one another you will not touch one another you will walk in a queue that is you will walk in a line this is the first good manner you should keep in mind when you go okay when you are going out from your class up to the computer lab okay children so if okay when school will open if you are going to the computer lab we have to follow this rule okay now number two remove your shoes before entering the computer lab children you have to open your shoes with socks you can enter to the computer lab because in shoes dust particles are there with dust particle the computer okay may get destroyed okay children understood so you have to remove your shoes before you are entering to the computer lab the second good manner you have to keep in mind that you have to open your shoes before you are entering to the computer lab okay now number three always consult your teachers or elders before working on a computer suppose something you're doing for first time in a computer okay 
in school you will ask to your teacher you will not do by yourself if you have a doubt you will ask to your teacher at home if you are doing something in your computer at home if you have a computer so if any problem is there you will call your elder brother sister mother father uncle auntie brother anyone okay so you will not try to do anything by yourself in a computer it may create a problems okay children so always in school you will consult with your teacher at home you will consult with your elders so you can consult with your mother father anyone who knows okay next number 4 always sit straight on your chair in front of the computer monitor when suppose computer monitor is here and you are sitting on a chair so you should sit straight don't bend in this way or don't bend back okay not side any side also so we have to sit straight when we are using a computer so that is the very important good manner okay don't move front don't move back straight your body should be straight next do not sit too close to the monitor it will harm our eyes suppose monitor is here okay children this is a computer monitor we should not go too close to the computer monitor it will affect our eyes okay it will affect our eyes so we should be little bit far away from the monitor if monitor is on the table you should be on the chair and don't go near the monitor it will affect our eyes this is also one of the good manner you should okay we should sit away from the monitor next do not make noise in the computer lab you see when the children goes quietly so when they will enter the computer lab when the teacher will teach okay so the children have to keep a silence they should not talk if they will talk that other will get disturbed and if they talk then next time they will get punishment okay they have to stand so we should not talk in the computer lab because others may get disturbed okay so this is also good manner bad manner is those who are talking in the lab they, for them it is a very bad okay so good manner is we should keep silence we should not talk in the computer lab okay now next is number 7 do not push the computer table it disturb the wire connection suppose computer is on the table you are using a computer don't push the table okay we should not push the table why because the wires are connected so the wire may get disconnected and it may create a problem your mobile your computer can be switched off okay or other problem can be seen so that's why we should not push the computer table so it disturb the wire connections okay it will disturb the wire connection completely okay next number 8 you see do not eat or drink in the computer lab keep it clean now the student should not carry any eatable in the computer lab they should not take cold drink they should not take uh, their lunch okay they should not eat any eatable or drink anything they should not carry water bottle they should not carry chocolates in the pockets because if you go in a computer lab and if you start eating so what will happen you are going to make the computer lab very dirty okay so always we have to keep the computer lab very neat and clean okay children so that's why we should not eat or drink anything in the computer lab so this is also one of the good manner number 9 always press the key on the keyboard very gently so when you using a keyboard don't press it very hardly we have to press it very gently okay softly we have to press the keys Okay, if you press it very hardly, it may get disturbed. It may have a problem. So we have to press the keys very gently. Okay, so be very careful. If you press the keys very hardly, it may get destroyed. Teacher may scold you. At home, if you do like this, if you are banging on the keyboard, your parents or the elders may scold you. Okay, so we have to press the keyboard very gently. Number ten. wait for your turn if you are sharing the computer suppose in your class so many students are there suppose in the one computer two students are using suppose in in one computer in two chair you are sitting that means you are sharing a computer so wait for your turn suppose your friend is working on a computer so the teacher had divided the time so let him complete then he will do the work not it's not start uh, snatching 
the mouse or keyboard or uh, fighting or pushing okay so you will not fight you will wait for your turn this is also one of the good manner which you have to show in the computer lab okay children now now let's see number 11 do not click the mouse button continuously you see you know children the mouse okay now left and the right click okay you should not click again and again like this unnecessarily what will happen the mouse will get spoiled and whatever the work you're doing it will be not done very properly okay so we should not bang on the mouse we should not click frequently you require whatever you can you should do only that much work with the help of a mouse okay so you see if you continuously you will click on the mouse button then it will create a problem okay you may get scolding in school from the teacher at home if you do such type of activity you may get scolding from your parents from your elders okay so this is a good rule good manner is that do not click continuously single click once double click twice okay now 10 15 20 time don't click okay so in that manner the computer will be in a good position okay next <clears throat> do not touch the wire or cable of the computer is on so when the computer is on so whatever the wires are there okay you should not touch you may get electric shock okay some children are there when computer is on they're touching the wire so that's a bad manner that is not a good manner when computer is on you should never touch the wire okay so you may get electric shock or computer may get some problems so we should never touch the wire or cable of the computer when it is on okay very necessary we should protect ourselves okay if you know you should teach other also that when the computer is on we should not touch the wire like see any at home when you're watching a television or when mobile is charging at that time when it is on should not touch the cable and pull it so same way in computer also we should not touch the wire and cable when the computer is on okay children so this is also one of the good manner those who are touching that's a bad manner and you should never do it okay next cover the computer with the cover dust cover after the use after using it suppose you have used the computer at home your work is over okay your work is over so you should cover it you will get a cover you will you will cover it so what will happen when you cover it so the dust particle will not go okay if you not if you will not cover okay what will happen the dust particle will get interact okay okay so that means children so when you will complete the work in a computer so you must cover it okay so in that way what will happen your computer will not get spoiled the dust will not enter so you see electronic goods either it's a television music system cell phone computer laptop okay everything we must take care of it so same way okay so when we are using a computer and after the use we should cover it so you can see in your page number 26 okay it is given that how properly keyboard monitor cpu everything you must cover it next day when you will use it open the cover use it again the work is done you will put the cover okay so in that way in that way what will happen your computer will your computer will remain in a good conditions okay So, how we take care of our son in the same way, okay, in the same way we must take care of a computer also. Otherwise, what will happen? The computer will, okay, the computer will give problem. So, children, 
what we have done the revision in chapter 4 so in chapter 4 we have done just now the revision that what is good and what is bad okay so i'm recalling it so we should make a queue and then enter quietly we should remove the shoes before entering we should consult with teachers or elders before walking on a computer we should always sit straight on a chair while we are using a computer we should not sit too close to the monitor screen we should not make noise in a computer lab we should not push the table okay we should not eat or drink anything we should not press the key very hardly when gently you should press the key okay wait for the turn if you are using a computer with your friends if you are sharing it so wait for your turn don't fight do not click continuously on the mouse okay don't touch the wire and cable when the computer is on and after the use of a computer you should always cover it so all the points were very good they are the good manners we should keep in mind while we are going to the computer lab or while we are when we are using it okay children so this was the end of the revisions of your chapter 15 okay okay children so you see for your computer unit test you will be learning chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 everything question answers whatever is there in the book i have given okay everything okay children so best of luck for unit test thank you children for today